back with another delicious brunch recipe of Chef Stefano Faita. And this one is right up my alley because it's a little bit of sweet and a little bit of savory. Yes. Um, and it's French toast. Yes. But apple and cheddar. Yes. Yes. Really, really easy recipe, but uh, yeah. I, it's a winner at my house. It's a winner. So it's a winner. So basically, uh, first thing for this, I make it a little bit special, right? So we're using pain brioche, right? Yes. So butter made with egg, you know, it's like oh. nice thick slices. Mm. You know, so yeah, it's brunch. Family's over. It's supposed to be fun, right? It's I mean, good yeah. bread. You want to, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so our mixture, milk. Yeah. Right, we're gonna add. It's all. This is really classic, guys. Like how many eggs do two you eggs. do? You do two. I'm gonna two? do two eggs for like a cup of milk, basically. Okay. That's pretty much the ratio for me. Yeah. So that's good, like that. And then we just want to whisk all this together. It's pretty simple. In a pan right here, what I did is um, we're using Honeycrisp and uh, Granny Smith. Mm. So basically, I cut up the uh, peel them. Cut up the apples in little cubes. Yeah. A nice knob of butter. Yeah. Right? A little bit Melt of butter. Melt the butter, put the apples in, saute them a bit, a little bit of uh, nice cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can even put a bit of nutmeg, which is really nice That's in really this the recipe. Good. And you've cut it up like really nice and tiny, which I never yes. do in my house. Well, there you go. But that's a lovely way to do you it can because even slice it's spread them. it. You can slice them, you but want. it's yeah. nice like that because then it spreads out properly exactly. and evenly. Even like maybe a touch of rosemary could be really good. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, too. which it might be really, really delicious. Basically, I'm going to take this mixture, yeah. pour it in this because it's just easier to soak. Oh, is that what you do? Yeah, that's what okay. I do. All right. So this, I'm going to put it right here. And now we can build our sandwich. So mm -hmm. we'll grab some bread. When you're making French toast, uh, day-old bread's always the best. Yep. And we want to soak it like for a, long a good time. amount of time. Yeah. Okay? So it really so gets it in yeah. there. So basically what I want to do here is pretty easy. I'm just going to grab some apple, put them yeah. right on the French toast, leave a little border. We have some nice aged cheddar, something nice and sharp. But I mean, you can add other cheeses that you like. Whatever you, you know. love. Yeah, whatever you love, you just put it in there, guys. Because maybe if it's for the kids, they don't want the aged cheddar. They don't cheddar. want the aged chedder, they right. They the want mozzarella. like mozzarella, yeah, yeah, or something like that. Something right. with no flavor. Exactly. They're gonna want. Ricotta. Ricotta, Ricotta here can be very good, good actually, too. too, right? Yes. So again, another piece of bread. You just want to put it right in between like this. Oh, which you're, makes make it a, nice you're making a French toast sandwich. Yeah, I'm making a French toast sandwich. That's good. So basically what we want to do at this point is just dunk it. Again, yeah. you want to leave it a while, okay? This mm -hmm. is for TV sake. Mm -hmm. We're going to go quickly. Yeah. Okay, maybe like a good five minutes on each side or something. And then That's we just want to put it. That's right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then we want to put it in the pan. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, and get it sizzled. Now, the pan is hot. Yeah. Okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it just a little bit. So, because, again, French toast, you want to dip for a long time, but you want to cook low and slow. Okay. Right? Low and slow. This is like intimacy here. Okay. Low and slow. Leave it alone. Yes. Give it just some time. Just leave it. Because you want the cheese to end up yes. melting. Yes. It's right? an intermingling. And again, if you have to make a big, if you have to make a lot of them, you can make them yes. and then put them on a cookie sheet and then just put them in the oven yes. at like 325 just to keep them warm and the cheese is going to end up, you know, melting slowly. And so that's what we want, right? Hey. So basically, See, I would have done like, that I wrong. wrong. I would have been like, put it up on high, Listen. slam, slam. I got some color. We're done here. I got some color, right? Yeah. So, but you want to, basically, you want to. We need nice, more time than yeah. this segment will allow. It's nice right? golden it on each nice side, right? Golden. So you come up to something that looks like this. Yes. Right? So to finish, what we want to do is, because obviously, again, you're friends and you want to, you know, just a little bit of powdered oh, sugar. That's so good. On the dish, yeah. And yes. maple syrup. Yeah. Come on. The good stuff. The good stuff goes right over top. You don't even trust me to do no. that part anymore. No. no, I don't. Usually that I, would be my at job. At this point, everybody's already salivating, <laughs> right? Yes. And uh, that's pretty much it. So basically, you make this, you make the vitello tonato we made yes, earlier. Yes. You have a bit of scrambled eggs, you have a nice platter of fruit. That's a good meal. And you have a good balance, you know, for a brunch. You have yeah. a little bit of, you know, everything's there. So totally. Just You're just missing the mimosas. Yes. And don't miss the mimosas. No, Add don't that. miss the mimosas. That's always my thing at brunch, though. It's like, I want a bit of the sweet, and I want a bit of the savory. I want it all. Like, I don't know. Do I want eggs and bacon, or do I want the French toast? Actually, I want it all. Exactly. Yeah. So you can do that with the veal, and the French yeah. toast is beautiful. And you get a little bit of everything. Very so, yeah. nice. Okay, so that recipe, um, and all Stefano's recipes, cityline.tv. Very good. Yes, ma'am. 